Hello. Beer review. Looking forward to this one. Always am. It's the Doctor. Doctor Hans Brewing. This is the frozen one. Did have two, unfortunately. One of them got, shall we say, fucked in transit. This one is uh, orange wit hiccup. So it's a wit. He did a grain to glass. I think he did a grain to glass on this. Yes, he did. I will post the video, put the video underneath the. Um, underneath. But, fuck off, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Let's pop this motherfucker. Right. Well, not massive pop. Straight away. Smell it's a wet. Let's get this poured. Mm -hmm. I was worried there weren't enough carbonation, but I'm wrong. <coughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, doesn't that look stunning? Oh, yeah. Sorry about the sun, but, well, because it's sunny. Yeah, wait. <sighs> yeah, smell orange. I, he did something different with this and it escapes me. I should have read the notice before I dived into it, but great. <sighs> Smells beautiful, let's dive in. Stunning. Stunning. It's um, such a an easy wit. It is just oh my god. I'm sure he said on his video he weren't super impressed. That is lush. Ooh. Orange, definitely. I can certainly taste coriander, but I've got a funny feeling he didn't put coriander in it, but I can certainly taste coriander. Could be wrong, sorry mate. My should have watched the video. Well, I did, but not, you know, in the last few days. <laughs> Foremost got, you know, like you do with the um, whole garden sometimes. There's a name for it, like the Earl Grey taste. I've got that there. And there's a little spiciness to it as well. You've got to share that recipe with me. Only thing I could say that's wrong with it, I could do with a tiny bit colder. But that's my fault. It's been in the fridge, but it just don't seem to be getting cold enough my fridge at the minute. Mm. Oh, give me a sec. I need to take a photograph for it first, but right. I don't know what to say. I'm jealous. This is amazing. <sighs> Smells very um, yeasty. But it's not too forward on the yeast on the flavour. There's plenty in there. There's, there's so much going on in there. That is absolutely stunning. It's a little bit like... I can't remember. I've tasted something commercial, which is very similar. It's not Hog Garden. I'm thinking it might be the Yeasty Boys one, but I could be wrong. But that is just... That's just beautiful.
I can't put my finger on that licorice star anise that's what it is star anise yeah and it is because now I remember he put star anise in this not a lot because that f that could fuck it up but that is such a perfect well balanced Absolutely spot on whip. It does piss me off a little bit because <clears throat> I'm going to be producing stuff like this. I've got my, well, I've got a few to send out. I keep saying that, don't I? But I just I'm waiting for the next one to be ready and blah blah blah. But I've got my Fuckwit V2.1, which when it started out was superb, but it's a bit too overcarbed in the bottles now. Don't know why. Um, that is just everything about it is spot on. Doctor, I hate you. You know I don't. I love you. That is superb. Why don't you come to um, in August to the thing in London? Cool. Cool. Get on with it. Mate, I'm not going to grade beers. I've heard a few of you guys grading beers. 1 to 10, blah, blah, blah. It's a stupid thing to do. It, it is in my opinion, to be honest, because there's no such thing as perfection. Perfection is impossible. So, you know, if you get in 10, you're saying it's perfect. Nothing is perfect, not even me. I'm fucking close, but I'm not. But if I was grading that, <laughs> it would be right up there. Doctor, you're the man. You're a top brewer. You already know you are. You don't need me to tell you that, mate. That is super. Thank you so much. I'm honoured that you took the time to send that to me. So sorry the other one broke. Um, I'll return the favour real soon. Thank you so much. Bing bong, over and out.